you were in you were in this show some years ago that I managed to see. Uh, it's called Malaysian Girls. <laughs> yes, yes, because I'm a Malaysian girl. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. I see. And therefore, you're, you're perfect for the role. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually quite an experience in Malaysian Girls because when I found out about the audition for Malaysian Girls, uh, I I've actually been doing. Uh, I've been performing for a while, but I've, because Calpac is obviously very well known, yeah. and a lot of people will ask me like, "Oh, oh, so have you done like Calpac work?" But till then, I've never I, because I'm a freelancer, right? So I work with everyone, right. and I've never worked with Calpac. So that was my first attempt in trying to get into a Calpac production. Mm -hmm. And what intrigued me was the reason why I actually decided, okay, let's take a leap and like just audition for Calpac because mm. prestigious, right? And um, and then uh, was because the premise of the production was really interesting. It was basically a story written by Mark Bo De Silva, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was directed by Joe Hashem, mm -hmm. and uh, it also was co-directed by Kelvin Wong and Chris Ling. Basically, the at that time the the director in residence in Calpac. So it was so interesting. Like wow, and one fell swoop. Just me auditioning. If I get into the production, I get to work with all these, you know, prominent people. Yeah, yeah, it was really interesting. And then, uh, and also on top of that, uh, the songs that was for the musical uh, is actually being written specifically uh, by local singer songwriters, people who ah. are not like musical. You know, musical songwriters, which are quite different, lah. You know, yeah. so you get like really indie style of music, and I'm like, <gasps> I'm sold. Where do I sign up? You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's really quite interesting. And then, obviously, for those who have watched the musical, I whether or not you like it, I guess it's it's you know it's to each its own, mm -hmm. I, I suppose. Um, but but for me, uh, the experience actually was really good. What I, what I took out from it, uh, it was a really interesting experience. On top of that, um, I made really good friends. Nice. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, I really, like, because the production... Good morning. Are, yeah. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> yeah, because um, the, uh, the cast were all led by women. Right? Uh, yes, and Because yes, yes. Malaysian girls. Yes. And then so I get to work with, like, a group of women that I... Uh, that I don't usually, you know, that you don't usually get ma many opportunities. I think in Malaysia as well. I think, uh, I think it's a it's an issue that we all face in terms of performing arts, and everybody's trying to fight for opportunities, especially for women, because there just aren't as many women roles, uh, you know, mm. available in like the performing arts. Sure. And we always have to create opportunity for ourselves, and then when you mm. when you have a piece like that. It's, it's always quite interesting like, and, and it's a pity because we don't have more of it, you know? Uh. Because it's like, I think all around the world, women are really, now I think we're very aware of the fact that, you know, we can't just sit around and wait for opportunities. Because things like good writing, like good theatre piece and all that, like, if you think about it, a lot of it is actually very heavily based on male protagonists. Right. Right? And then so, and in Malaysia, in performing arts, there's like, every time you go in for an audition, for any open audition, mm -hmm. there's like one guy to like 10 girls, like trying to fight for like a, and then the roles will be like five men and then two women. You know what I mean? Oh. It's, I mean, of course I'm generalizing, of course uh, I'm exaggerating, sure, but, sure. but you get the idea, right? right so it's right. very unfortunate. And then I feel like, you know, it's we need to kind of create more opportunities. Like we need to tell more women's stories. Okay, okay. I don't know how I got that. Yeah, Malaysian girls. <laughs> so. But it's true. It's true. It was okay. an interesting opportunity oh. because then being in like a production to where it's predominantly women, it's also interesting because then a lot of people are like, oh, are they cat fights? But no, actually, um, we got along really, really well. And then you know, I genuinely developed like. Uh, a really good friendship with these women, and I and I still do. We still keep in contact, and we're still working with one another. And it's very nice. You know, it's it's yeah. It's it speaks 
volume about like the local mm. local theater community. Okay, yeah, it goes yeah. to show like uh, if you if you really pull together the uh, effort to uh, put put something original, something that something that uh, stands for something, you know, and then, mm. you know, you know, these these kind of things will happen. Relationships can form. It's like I feel like it's it's the effort la. Like you know, uh, the end product. Again, like I say. Uh, to each its own, like whether or not you like it. But then the thing is, it, it's the process. It's yeah. also, it's the process that kind of make a production. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why I love theatre.